Deuteronomy 5 verse 33 encapsulates the heart of God's commandments to his people. You shall walk in all the way, which Yahweh your God has commanded you, that you may live, and that it may be well with you, and that you may prolong your days in the land which you shall possess. This verse is not merely a directive but a promise of life, wellness, and longevity for those who obey God's commands. Let's delve into this verse to understand its profound implications. Understanding the Context The book of Deuteronomy is essentially a series of speeches by Moses, reiterating the laws given to the Israelites as they prepare to enter the Promised Land. Deuteronomy 5 is particularly significant as it recaps the Ten Commandments. In verse 33, Moses summarizes the essence of these commandments, obedience to God's law leads to a blessed life. Walking in God's way. The phrase, you shall walk in all the way, is a call to comprehensive obedience. Walking implies a continuous, daily commitment. It is not a mere one-time decision but a lifestyle of aligning our actions, thoughts, and desires with God's will. It signifies total submission and dedication to God's directives. The Command of Yahweh The term, Yahweh your God, underscores the personal relationship between God and His people. It is not just any deity, but Yahweh, the covenant God of Israel, who commands. This relationship is foundational. Obedience is not about legalistic rule following, but about responding to the one who has entered into a loving, covenant relationship with his people. Purpose of Obedience The purpose of this obedience is threefold, that you may live, that it may be well with you, and that you may prolong your days in the land. Each of these promises is interconnected with the concept of shalom, the Hebrew word for peace, completeness, and welfare. That you may live. Life, in the biblical sense, goes beyond mere existence. It includes flourishing, prosperity, and experiencing God's fullness. Jesus echoes this in John 10 verse 10, I came that they may have life, and may have it abundantly. That it may be well with you. Wellness, or well-being, is the state of being in harmony with God, oneself, and others. It encompasses physical health, emotional stability, and spiritual wholeness. It is a life where God's presence brings joy and satisfaction. That you may prolong your days in the land. The promise of prolonged days in the land points to stability and security. For the Israelites, this was tied to the promised land. For us, it signifies experiencing God's blessings and purposes in our lives over a long period. Deuteronomy 5 verse 33 is not only relevant to the Israelites but also speaks profoundly to us today. Here are practical ways we can apply this verse. Daily Commitment to God's Word Just as the Israelites were called to walk in God's ways, we too are called to immerse ourselves in Scripture. Regular Bible study, meditation, and application of God's Word keep us aligned with His commands. Holistic Obedience Obedience to God should encompass every area of our lives. This means submitting our work, relationships, finances, and personal habits to His Lordship. It is about seeking God's will in all decisions, big or small. Trust in God's promises. The promises attached to obedience in Deuteronomy 5 verse 33 are as true today as they were then. We can trust that walking in God's ways leads to life, wellness, and longevity in the spiritual sense. This trust fuels our commitment to follow Him wholeheartedly. Living in Covenant Relationship Understanding that obedience flows from a relationship with God changes our perspective. 
We obey not out of fear or duty but out of love and gratitude for what God has done for us through Jesus Christ. This relational obedience is empowered by the Holy Spirit. Worldly Influences The world constantly pulls us in directions contrary to God's ways. Media, peer pressure, and cultural norms often conflict with biblical values. Staying grounded in God's word helps us navigate these influences. Personal weaknesses. We all have areas of weakness and sin that can hinder our obedience. Recognizing these and seeking God's help through prayer, accountability, and spiritual disciplines is crucial. Spiritual warfare. There is a real spiritual battle against our obedience to God. Ephesians 6 verse 12 reminds us that our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against spiritual forces. We must put on the full armor of God to stand firm. Deuteronomy 5 verse 33 calls us to a life of continuous, comprehensive obedience to God. This obedience is rooted in a loving relationship with Yahweh, our covenant God. The promise attached to this obedience, life, wellness, and longevity, encourages us to trust and follow God's ways fully. As we commit to walking in His ways daily, we experience the abundant life that Jesus promised, living in harmony with God's perfect will. By embracing the call of Deuteronomy 5 verse 33, we step into the fullness of life that God desires for His people, experiencing His blessings and presence in every aspect of our lives. Let us therefore, walk in all the way, which Yahweh our God has commanded us, that we may live, that it may be well with us, and that we may prolong our days in the land He has promised. Amen. Thank you for joining us. If you found this study helpful, Please like and subscribe to our channel for more Bible studies and reflections.